What's up YouTube, Broken Solar Panel here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a effective and quickly way to solder metal. It's basically just a spot welder that's designed for soldering circuits. The things you'll need, a doorbell transformer, a power supply of some sort. This is actually going to be the alligator clip, so the power supply is going to be this. And the wire is just going to go in. Solder, something to solder on and something to solder to the board uh, resistors. Use a resistor. Okay, your first step will be to wire up the transformer. So in this case I'm going to be wiring it up to the plug because this is what I need. You also need alligator clips. And since I don't have any better alligator clips, I decided to use this plug. So you're going to wire it up to the plug, kind of like this. I'm assuming you have better alligator clips, so you're probably going to be able to do it better than I can. There you go. Now you got your alligator clips. Let's put the transformer over here. Oh wait. Next you need to wire up your transformer. Make sure the leads are not shorting. They are not shorting. White one. We'll go in here. the black one will go in here. The transformer is supposedly on. To test this, you're going to um, uh, you're going to uh, quickly short the uh, terminals to see if you get any sparks. If you see sparks, then you know you got power. There you go. The next step is to grab a pencil and a pencil sharpener and sharpen the pencil. For this thing I need to fold back the tablecloth so I can sharpen it because it's one of those vacuum mount pencil sharpeners. Make sure it's nice and sharp, but you don't want it too sharp or the lead's going to break too soon. That's probably how sharp you want it right there. Next, you break the lead out of the pencil. Like that. This will be what you're going to use to soldering with. It is going to reduce the electrical flow, and it's going to build up in this thing, make it really hot, and it's going to solder the thing. It's going to melt the solder. So, let's go ahead and clip the edge of it into the alligator clip, like so. And then when you touch them together, they heat up a lot. And the thing begins to, oops, we got a little bit. The thing begins to glow red. Just a little bit. Like that. Smokes quite a bit too on its first trial. That clears up as you use it. So the next step is to uh, solder your components. In this case I'm going to be using resistors. These are from my failed attempts to record the video. Because I am not a great cameraman. I can tell you that for sure. Just take it out, make sure they're straight up so you have something to connect the other terminal to. Something like that. Make sure they're flat and you can see them. You probably want to wear safety goggles too. There we go. So now you need something to solder. That's what's sticking out here. Oh, hang on. It's glaring up again. Ugh. So, you need to grab some scissors. And cut a little bit off the solder. You don't want too much, just a little bit. 
that. A little ball of solder. Oops, caused the camera to glare again. You can't see a thing, can you? There you go. This camera is a piece of crap. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So you just connect one of the leads. That's not the one with the uh, uh, lead on it to the end of the component you're soldering, like that. Oh, hang on, we got another glare scene. Can't see anything. What the heck? It just doesn't want us to stay, there we go. Then just solder it in, like this. And the uh, heat from the pencil lead will melt the solder and solder your component like that. It cools the heat up right away. You don't have to wait for it to heat up or anything. Just wait for the solder to cool. And that's what it should look like right there. Now I'll solder the other lead. There's also another way you can solder it. If the end of the solder that you're using has a thing sticking out of it right here, you can connect the lead to that. Like that. And just touch the solder uh, to the end here like this. Complete the circuit and solder it in place. The best soldering method I recommend the first method better. In this method, this one sucks. There you go, there's how you uh, make a major spot builder. Now let's go ahead and uh, snip the leads here. That, and there you go, it's soldered on. Kind of poorly, but still soldered on, that's all that matters. Let's turn it off. This is Broken Solar Panel, signing off.